Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, gonna be talking about the San Francisco 49ers, as always, doing another top three video. This time, talking about low key people in the organization I believe are important for the 49ers. So, these can range from players, coaches, ownership, anything like that. Just people that we don't really see and hear that much. I want to give them some credit, tell them that they are important for the 2019 season. You know, this is a very important year for the 49ers, for everyone in the organization. John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan, especially, they have to have a very good season, in my opinion, in order to not be on the hot seat or their seat to be warm. I believe they will do well in 2019. We'll see what happens. But yeah, going to be talking about this, talk about low-key important people in the organization right now. Let's get into it. Before I do, please like and subscribe to support my channel. That would definitely help me out a lot. Click that bell notification to get notified of future videos share this channel share this video with fellow niner faithfuls let's just get this started the top three low-key important people in the 49ers organization number three owner jed york i cannot believe i'm putting him on a positive list right here but i'm gonna do it right now york he's been quiet for the most part during kyle shadahan and john lynch's tenure as 49er gm slash coach tandem that's a very good thing because for the past couple years prior to that he was very hands-on i thought that was one of the worst things that can happen to any team is when an owner gets too hands-on with the organization just let the football guys do what they do they'll do their best to try to win as much as possible but no before that it was terrible he fired hardball in 24 14, he hired Jim Tom Sua after one year, then fired him, then hired Chip Kelly, then fired him after one year. Now we're with Kyle Shanahan. This is his third year in San Francisco, so that's very good right there. That means he's trying to stay consistent. He knows that he has to be patient in order to start winning. I'm really glad that he's doing that right now. Better late than never. I wish we would have never fired Harbaugh, but hey, it is what it is. You know, it's years ago now. We have to move on and just stick with Kyle Shanahan as our head coach, which I believe he will do a good job for the 49ers within his six-year contract. I think this year he could be fantastic. So yeah, York just being quiet, staying behind the scenes, not getting too interactive with all the organization slash players i think that's a really good thing prior to that there was a lot of leaks a lot of things hanging around this organization i'm pretty sure it was uncomfortable for everyone from jim harbaugh himself to the players to just everything all the rumors coming out from the organizations themselves going to reporters like Deion sanders just other 49 media members that was just pretty ridiculous right there now under lynch and shanahan it's been pretty quiet for the most part although that one time there was the whole tension thing between those two i mean that's not really a big deal in my opinion so nothing really has came out from this organization ever since then that's a good thing and i hope york for the next couple of years he stays like that and doesn't try to leak any information or try to be the king of this organization on a public note number two fullback Kyle Juszczyk. I made a video way back when, I think when the 2018 season was over, talking about Juszczyk being the most underrated 49er in our roster right now, and I still do believe in that. But yeah, Juszczyk, not a lot of people really talk about this guy. For Pro Bowls, I guess, he's obviously a given because there's not a lot of fullbacks in the NFL, but when there is, he's probably the best one out of the bunch. He can run the ball, catch the ball out of the backfield. He can block too. He's the go-to guy that Kyle Shanahan looks forward to for everything that you need to do. But you want to talk about the positionless offense that Shanahan talks about during this offseason and you check fix that perfectly. I mean, to be able to do everything, that's a really good thing right there. I don't really have anything else to say about use check. He's a under, I wouldn't say underappreciated player, but he's, you know, people that don't talk about too much. We talk about guys like Garoppolo, other running backs, other wide receivers, but we never talk about you check that much. And I hope he gets all the credit that he deserves this year. I believe he's going to have a great season in 2019. We'll see what happens, but I believe he's going to be a very pivotal point in this offense. He will definitely show up and show out for the 2019 season. Coming in at number one as the most important low-key 49er right now in this organization is one of the coaches. Which one? I'm going to be putting wide receivers coach Wes Welker. He's been on the news for the past week or two now talking about how the players love him. He's given them wisdom and knowledge on how to be a great wide receiver. Guys like Dante Pettis and Trent Taylor, those guys, they're looking like they're going to be beneficial to Welker's coaching abilities, whatever you want to call it. I agree because Welker, as we all know, he was a great NFL player. This is not his first time being a coach in the NFL. I think he was a coach for the Houston Texans prior to this and another team prior to that as well. This is not his first go around job on how to be an assistant coach in the NFL. That's a really good thing right there. Welker, I believe he's going to be a very big impact for the 49ers in terms of the wide receiving core. I think they're going to show up and show out definitely because when you have a guy that's done it all in the NFL in terms of the slot receiver returning balls or whatever you want to call it, that's really good right there to show them how to really 
work on the mechanics, work on their, I don't know you want to call it, route running, I guess you want to call it. That's another good wisdom to give to these players, I believe. With these wide receivers with Garoppolo, I think they're going to be really, really good this year for the 49ers. I know that sounds like a weird prediction. I don't know if you want to call it a weird prediction, but I believe with these receiving core, with George Kittle, with the running back crew, I mean, this offense looks not impervious, but it looks pretty good in terms of it could be a top 10 offense, in my opinion, come this year in 2019. So yeah, Welker, very important member of the 49ers coaching staff. I think that was one of the great pickups for this offseason, along with Joe Woods, the defensive backs coach. I think, you know, with him and his teachings on great wide receiving technique and what have you, they're going to show up and show out definitely all the guys as much as possible for 2019. That's it, guys. Pretty short video right here. Just talking about some players and people in the organization that deserve some love for what they do for this team. Yeah, hope you guys agree with me. Please let me know what important low-key players, coaches slash ownership that you believe for the 49ers are for the 2019 season. Please, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. If you guys like this, please like it, subscribe, and support my channel. That would definitely help me out a lot. And I'll be catching you guys up tomorrow on Thursday for news. I'll see y'all then. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Go Niners all day.